Oh, we gotta see if Phoenix can kill Kerrigan. They just uh, send someone in to bait the implosion, then drop a Phoenix on her and see if it works. It probably won't, but there's no way we can't try. You know? Okay. I'm just gonna go with this. A fairly normal Spear of Dune setup. Brutal. Nidus Worms. Sorry, I had to reset everything there. Definitely the Avenger, Ascendant, Energizer. That guy. That guy, that guy. That guy, that guy. Start. Oh, it's like nine seconds. Well, that's a shame. You've brought me the Zelnaga artifact. It was good of you to save me the trouble of finding it for myself. I'm going to try to not use the artifact, but we'll see. Hold back to the keystone. Let them come to us. Hierarch, the keystone is ready. Well, I guess I failed. <laughs> yeah, I remember turning. Impressive Turo. defense. But not nearly impressive enough. My forces are without number, and yours are dwindling by the minute. This can only end one way. So for anyone who was not here for Wings of Liberty Turbo Edition, which was where the game speed is three times as fast, uh, the, what happens that... Oh, that is a mothership. What happens in that section is if you play it at super high speed, the Zerg actually overwhelm and kill the Keystone and a defeat screen shows up during the cinematic and you just lose before you even get to play. Absolutely as they intended. We need a lot of these. We're going triple forge because we need ground power. And I need all the workers I can get because I can't do any repairing. Oh, this army is way worse than the other one. You can't stasis Kerrigan. Uh, so what happened was when this was originally in development, uh, he gave it out to people for testing, and I was one of the people. I think that's how it went. And I found that I could permastasis Kerrigan, and I tried not telling Synergy about it, but then someone else told Synergy about it. So then I didn't get to do it on stream. I think it was Rhyme, because Rhyme hates fun. See, even Janara agreed right there. It was definitely you. Don't know why you do the things you do, Rhyme. He's running around as an antagonist. So it may just be that going for, like, mass ascendant ground force is wrong. I am completely willing to admit that this might be a mission that I need Sky Toss on. Because I'm already getting my butt kicked a little bit. First Colossus goes up here. That's going to be a huge help. I want to keep the Zealots for now, but eventually I do want to be rid of them. Nice. And this side is just spam ascendance until I have a big army. I think I want this guy a little bit more over here, you know? So the 
Dude should be pretty safe, the Arbiter. I don't know how I'm going to kill the Nidus Worms, though. Maybe just Mothership? This might be the way that I want to play this, actually. It's going to be very slow. Well, you know what? Phoenix! No, oh, Phoenix, go hit the Nidusus. That didn't work. <laughs> I'm going to get my air attacks just for the mothership so that she can kill the Nidusus in one hit. I don't know how many that takes. I assume it's a lot. I hope plus three can one-shot it. It might not be able to. So long as it leads to glory. Let's see. I have a probe here. Oh, that's not good. Oh gosh, what do I even want? I guess I want more Colossus? I just can't afford everything. Money is super tight already, and the shield battery is garbage in the campaign, and that's not helping. Thank you, Blink Mothership. I'll search out that upgrade. Oh, we're getting real close to one-shot territory there. I think I just need plus two for it. She has 73 kills already. That's insane. I also need to get a couple things here because there will be, like, things that pop up around there that can randomly end the game if I'm not careful. Oh, it's going to be two shot. It's never going to be one shot, is it? That's a lot worse. Tired working through others. It's time I took a personal hand in your demise. All right, first try. Implode me, Kerrigan. Oh, that is a big escort. <laughs> that didn't work. <laughs> wow, that's got a really short cooldown. And she has all of her abilities. Okay, Kerrigan, good. Wow. I'm gonna get broken over here. Send the mothership to help. Holy crap. Right, so I think that we're at the point that intentionally nerfing myself in order to have a more enjoyable time is no longer necessary. He didn't get over there, Mr. Laser's being lazy today. Seismic disturbance detected. Nidus worms are inbound on your location. Man Protoss sag defense is bad. It's really shocking. I don't think I can salvage here. My ascendants are dead. What? Vengeance 
Yeah, I think I need to go Colossus if I want to do a ground comp. They're definitely my only good unit. I think I also was too greedy with the shield upgrades. Just get attack and armor first. No, I'm not using Solar Lance. <sighs> they are transporting ground forces. Destroy the We're gonna give it a reset. I'm gonna see how good Mass Colossus Cannon battery is. Maybe we'll figure something out. Hello, White Raw. The Reaver, there's no way the Reaver is better, right? I don't think it could be. They're, it's just so bad. How many long defense missions for Protoss are there in the campaign? There's the final mission, and there is the temple defense one. Yeah, no way the Reaver is better, I kind of agree. Especially if we're going to use Energizers, which I am. Some guy expected you to do the defense on Dead of Night as Phoenix the other day. Well, the way that you do that is you just kill all the stuff with Phoenix, and then they don't spawn zombies. Easy peasy. Chrono, Temporal Field, Orbital Simulator. Uh, I kind of want Harmonization. I liked that. I liked that. This doesn't matter. Colossus Energizer. Vanguard. I'm not going to build that. Not going to build that. Well, I'll use Nerazim just in case I need like an emergency DT warp in. Phoenix uh, did not do his job today, so he's fired. Reconstruction Beam, I think, was nice. And then. Oh, uh, Solar Bombardment. Kill the Nidus Worms and start. Oh, I have an idea. Hmm. You've I wonder if that'll me. work. My will is we are Hold that this way. These guys here. The early defense went really well. And I think it'll go doubly well when I have lots and lots of Colossus coming out. I think the Ascendant was a really fun idea. It's just energy-based units that don't have a good auto-attack. Not ideal for this situation. Oh yeah, and they're not invisible. That's a big problem, too. Get a Vanguard over there. Start the attack upgrades. I think a Vanguard will be really nice. Eventually, I want to be able to take the ramps. That is my goal here, is have like a static defense line here and then grab these ramps individually with a bunch of Colossus on top so that they all walk through the fire. And then what else? I think this is it. I think it's just a good strat. So I did notice this side is pretty weak, which is why I've decided to push that Vanguard out up there. I'm going to go up to like, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 8. Okay. I don't know how many of those, some of those mineral patches are really poorly placed, so I don't know if they should count, but 30 workers. Done. Now we'll start building. In these little skirmishes at the beginning, the Centurion might actually be way better than the Sentinel. Just that stun capability is really good. Eh, uh, maybe not. 
I'm really good at opening up some supply for some <laughs> Colossus so I don't have to build all my depots early. See if we can secure this. I already feel way safer. Oh, hi. So that's the second Colossus set out. Wait, how am I going to kill Karagum? Brute force? I think the answer is brute force. <laughs> I don't really have a good answer for her right now. Okay, uh, I need to build a Corsair. Because I have an idea. Nidus is her soon. Seismic disturbance detected. Nidus worms are inbound on your location. Okay, you go that way, bud. Let's go that way. I want to see if killing the hives helps. Because they produce out of the hives, right? So maybe I can lessen the enemy attack waves that way. I don't know. I think it's worth a shot. Oh, circlings. They're so strong. I can't deal with mass zerglings with three Colossus. Are you kidding? They're breaking through. The creep is getting over there. Okay, Mothership took that one down. This one's not even that far away. I can just kill it. Fire. Thank you. And then we have one up here. I actually want these stairs patrolling so that they can use disruption web. That'll reduce the incoming damage by a ton. I need some batteries up here. Let's try to close this area off. Kerrigan's going to be here soon, right? That's going to be fun. I don't have, like, any high damage abilities. So I'm just going to get imploded, and I'm going to use shield overcharge. Keep the mothership away. And hopefully burn her down before she gets a second razor swarm. That's the goal here. So much HP. Okay. First one was okay. Kill the Banes. I do love the mothership. It's so good. And this area just feels like it's doing great now. 
So I think all my defenses need to go to the north. Maybe pull back a little bit. Do I have a Sarah over here? I do not. We're gonna grab this one. We're gonna snipe this hive. So, if my theory is correct, then the amount of damage that is incoming from the top is going to be drastically reduced now. Assuming they don't rebuild them. Oh, wow. Yeah, there's Nidus' still. These Nidus' are just brutal. These guys just go and deal with this. Where's Mothership? Not doing anything useful. Oh uh, no, this might be the end. Getting overwhelmed again. Oh, they killed all my workers. Aren't those drops supposed to be, like, really insignificant and do nothing? Okay, well, I've failed. I've used the stupid thing. No. I didn't know she was in position there. So remember the destroyer adept thing? I did that with the vanguard who shoots 16 times per attack and it melted Kerrigan. Oh my gosh. The Keystone's energy matrix has reached the halfway point. We must hold on. Yeah, there's no way. I don't know what to do after they killed all my workers. I would like to push out and kill one of these, but I can't. I'm constantly under attack. Blocked. There we go. And guards, please fire faster.
they're just fungal. I can't move them. I mean, this is a big Protoss army, and I cannot move it forward towards these. Thanks. This side's doing okay, though. I'm going to wait for another Nidus wave, and then I'll Nova again. Because it should be soon for another Nidus wave. Come on. the night of swarms is not the end uh are you sure about that Kerrigan seems like the end to me maybe a funnel build how am I supposed to build a building <laughs> I literally can't move <laughs> what <laughs> that's the problem I can't go anywhere <laughs> <sighs> I'm becoming under the assumption that ground toss is not viable here. It feels really bad. It's almost as if the ultimate Protoss technology is not the Colossus. <laughs> uh, I'm making carriers. And we're going to win first try. We tried to do it honorably, and now I'm going to unleash the full might of the Daylom at them, and they are going to die. I love how you guys just suggest the most expensive units, as if it's just like, yeah, I can slot in that thing that costs 500 resources and like a bajillion gas when I have three gas geysers, no problem. Money's tight on all in. I'm going to use everything. Chrono Surge, Solar Lance, Orbital Assimilators, Shield Overcharge, Guardian Shell, Time Stop for the first time. Uh, da, 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 da. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Energizer that. Carrier. Arbiter. Corsair. Doesn't matter. Let's go. You've brought me the zone. We're gonna do the same thing, except it's gonna be the easiest fight of our lives. Shore up our defenses. The Zerg are moving to attack our nexus point. The keystone is in place, High Rock. It will require time to charge to its full power. My forces will ensure the Keystone's safety and provide for our defense. We will reinforce your warriors as we are able. I'm not going mass voids against Razor Swarm. That's a bad idea. What units am I using? The carrier. Oh, I'm building a carrier. That means I have a fleet beacon somewhere. Oh, here it is. This 
This is going to be the easiest thing we've ever done. Let's see. 50 energy. See, they're not even attacking. The cowards. They see the carrier and they're like, Kerrigan, carrier has arrived. What do we do? You die. That's what you do. Couldn't even kill the wall. I'm gonna Chrono Surge out my attack upgrade because I'm a Chad. Plus three carriers are the most beautiful thing on the planet. Some people think that like the face of their newborn child or whatever, no, plus three carriers. Also babies are ugly. I say this is someone who worked in childcare. You all know it's true. The only baby that you think is cute is your own. Especially fresh babies. Fresh babies are gross. <laughs> fresh is a weird word for a baby. <laughs> you don't want your baby to go stale. You know? It's important. Okay, let's get some cannons up here. I'm gonna do the unified defensive front thing. Actually... What if we just build batteries over here for now? I don't know if this is gonna work. Oh no, my zealots aren't dying because my carriers can repair them. Like absolute legends. Also four stargates, obviously way too many. <laughs> because I can't afford to build out of them at all. Was that an overuse of a time stop? Maybe. How does monolith cannon battery one line of each sound? Well, I had cannon battery, which is just better than monoliths, and it didn't work out because monoliths are garbage. They just waste all their time attacking zerglings. Nah, Stasis, or er, Ultras have the Frenzy ability, which makes them immune to all forms of crowd control. Uh, because this uses the Legacy of the Void dependency, you get some funky stuff like that. Is everything going okay? Why are we not doing great in this fight? It's okay, we're gonna clean it up. The fact that I needed the stasis there was a bit concerning though. Probe here. Disturbance detected. Nidus worms are inbound on your location. Nice Nidus. I like being able to go out and actually engage the worms. That really, really helps out. Pull back. There's only three carriers over here. That's not very many. Let's get an additional carrier. Oh, I didn't kill this. Well, I don't need to be good, I just need to have Solar Lance. I can't believe that one shots it. I 
Oh, I need a couple cannons and a couple batteries here so they don't kill my entire mineral line with Zerg wings this time. Look how easy this game is. Sky Toss Master Race. Well, we'll see how this part this part goes. Glory to the day I'm gonna get some sentinels to go out first. Then we're gonna adept shade through her. And they should take that extra damage and die really quick to the carriers. Yep. Carrier adept. That's a lot of Nidus. Okay, you guys want to go this way and take that down. Taking a little bit of damage to the cannons and stuff, that's fine. We'll rebuild them. Okay, I'm having a hard time here. Time stop. Clean all that up. You guys go take that down. And I probably need more static defense over here. It's kind of gotten gutted. I don't think I want shield upgrades, but I definitely want the armor upgrades because it scales well with the repair beam. Because the repair beam is a flat rate, which means that it gets better and better with more armor, if that makes sense. It's not percentage based. Freeze? No, you can't freeze the Nidus. Oh, Probe, you are very aggressive. You're supposed to be building cannons. Oh, you're in the control group. Just been murdering people left and right. Okay. That was a bigger attack force than I ever expected. Kill the Obies this time. I really don't want to use the artifact here. I mean, I don't want to use the artifact in general, but I definitely don't want to use it right here. Uh, maybe Cyber Cores are better. I think I just want bulk on the ground so they sit still and get attacked by the carriers. So the highest HP to dollar ratio unit is probably what I want to be making.
No! I need the cyber core so I can build my adept. Stop! Crap! The Keystone's energy matrix has reached the halfway point. We must hold on. Oh. <sighs> I have a cyber core. <laughs> Forgot about that. <laughs> Nailed it. Listen, being a streamer is hard, okay? You have to put all your most vulnerable moments on camera, and sometimes I'm really dumb. I think cybercore.build is actually working pretty okay. Especially because the banelings try to go around it for some reason. Don't know why that is. Oh, that's an unfortunately placed Nidus Swarm. Let's see if it, oh, that's an enormous death wave. Ultralisk. The ultimate in anti cybernetics core technology. I said something, so everything went to crap. Fine. Oh, that's unfortunate. I think there's another wave of Nidus's that are going to come soon. We're going to take the... Was it Jaybrino Engineering Base Strat? And make it successful, though. Or was it Synergy who built the engineering base? I don't remember. You fools should never have come here. The firstborn shall persevere. They killed my fleet beacon. Okay, fine. Nope, I can't go void race. This is not the end. Seismic disturbance detected. Nidus worms are oh, my mineral line. Engage those ones. I have no forge. This might be closer than it should be. I have a feeling air would have been better. The, uh... Like, going against Broodlords and Mutas would have been really, really easy. Because they don't know how to use Broodlords well, and... You gotta have good control with them for them to be good against Protoss. If I put an Arbiter in my Mineral Line? I don't have an Arbiter to put in my Mineral Line, unfortunately. But you are correct, that would have been a good idea. Yeah, Mutalisks would just get shredded. It's the fact that they just keep... They're able to run past me all the time. It's not even that they can... They're just, like, gonna eliminate me from the game.
I'm going to start making Arbiters, and I'm going to move my defensive situation to the high ground. There's two more Kerrigans, right? Or is there just one? I can't make Adepts anyway, so the remaining Kerrigans are going to be much, much more difficult. Off the point, off the point. Yeah, that awkward moment where 24 carriers don't have the DPS to kill the Zerglings that are attacking. everything here. I've lost my main. I don't think I can do this. Because the Zerglings are going to be able to connect constantly. With the objective just slightly damaging it. And we got $400. This is so dumb. I have a death army and I can't kill Zerglings. <laughs> oh, Starcraft. If I can get another Nova off, I might. Nope, Ultralisks. Am I... I'm going to go back to when I lost my mineral line. Okay, well, Senpai, I did have Chrono Surge, and I did have plus three weapons, but besides that... Hmm. When did I lose all my workers? Do you know? I was absolutely fine here. The keystones. Seismic distance. Hmm. Yeah, I had three two on my carriers, and then I stopped getting defensive upgrades because they just weren't dying. Death via carrier was not the scary part. I'm gonna just resume right here. This is a pretty good spot. Psycat, subscribing for six months in advance with tier one, thank you so much. So then don't lose all my workers here. That's the big change. I know, it's a bold one. I have a sneaking suspicion it'll help. They did kill the fleet beacon. <laughs> Build this part of a wall up here. Shield battery. I guess I need cannons to beat Zerglings, huh? I wonder at what percent I can just abandon the low ground. Because I don't like the low ground, it's scary. And has Kerrigans. You guys are going to sit here to defend. The rest is going to come over here. And then we use 
that Zubid Whopper to make her all vulnerable. Seismic disturbance detected. Easy peasy. Nidus worms are inbound on your location. This is not a split back. The end. Is it that I'm playing really bad, or is this by far and away the hardest synergy mission? Because this feels real, real tough. The numbers here are just a bit absurd. This is by far and away the hardest synergy mission? Okay, I believe Ryan. Because he's always honest when I'm playing like garbage. <laughs> Yeah, the tank is just such an OP unit in Wings of Liberty with its, like, 100 damage per shot. It's really hard to compare with anything. Remember when I was like, I'm going to start Kerrigan Edition today. Yeah, that worked out. Oh crap. Nidus worms are inbound on your location. Uh, Nexus Overcharge does 20 damage, not 40. spawning, then I can use it right after this. Stable. They're not attacking for a second. That's the biggest reprieve we've had this mission. <laughs> what a day this has been. You fools. You are playing with forces beyond your comprehension. I can't make an adept. I'm supply blocked times infinity. Will I have time stop available? No. The taco zone. So we're gonna go zap zap. And one big old zap this way. Gotta click on Kerrigan. Don't get in my way. And we pull these back. Pull these back. I think I might be in a position where I can save my time stop. These Ultralisks. Oh my gosh. The building busters themselves. They can't kill units, but they can't die. Okay, I need to cancel all these and just use my money on buildings. 
I'm gonna bring a couple extra probes up here in case one dies. I guess. Ninety percent. Approaching maximum energy output. Victory is nearly upon us. Do not lose hope, brothers. Oh, these aren't even firing. I'll pull back. I can't move anywhere on the map now. The Ultras are going to kill me again. I literally can't stop them. <sighs> what do I do? I have no idea how to do this. How did I do this last time? I did air. I got so close. Is there something better I could have done? How many seconds until the Nova? Because I think if I get the Nova, I can win. Right? 23 seconds remaining. So when did I last use the Nova? What if I used it like 23 seconds earlier? <laughs> Would it be dishonest to switch or dishonorable to switch to air? I don't want to restart. That's the thing. I want to finish this. I'm not playing this mission a fourth time. So do I just use it as soon as it's off cooldown? Seismic disturbance. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> I need to make sure. That doesn't work, does it? Okay, no it doesn't. I just happened to click the button at the exact same time it activated. Got it. So I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to hit the Nova earlier. Just like right as it comes off cooldown. And then I'm going to try... I don't think a DT surround the Keystone will work because they send a absolute monstrous load of much Maduders. Overseers. Okay. I gotta figure this out. Base is under attack. 
under assault. Your probes are under attack. If I built pylons, I might actually be able to start building stuff again. Because throwing in some Corsairs right now could be a decent way to do things. I'll try that. I'm going to save time stop till it gets really bad. Because I'm not going to have an additional one anyway. So this is my last time stop. I might as well make best use possible out of it. Do I have to use time stop already? Okay. So that pylon thing did not work because they just melt through all my buildings. Oh, I actually got a couple guys out. Don't know if it'll be helpful. But you're going to chill right at the objective and hopefully put some disruption webs on things. I just couldn't even get buildings that time, though. Shield overcharge the objective, and it died. Has anybody beaten this on ground before? Because I am getting a little bit flabbergasted. So I hit the Nova early. Yeah, the army is fine. It's just the absurd numbers. So the cyber cores, the pylons were definitely wrong. Cyber cores cost $50 more and they have infinity more HP. Uh, the Corsairs were not worth it. I think I just need to combine everything that I've combined. So I just nova right here. Let's see if I can hold on to this Solar Lance and not use it as early as I did. I think that every single cooldown at this point is integral to success. But then that happens. Yeah, getting busted again. Now they have creep all over my thing. Target that down, get the creep receding so I can build more cyber cores. How's this area doing? It's doing fine. I have a shield overcharge, and I'm not sure how to make a good use out of it. I'm going to leave a couple at home and try to have my carriers a little bit farther out. Seismic disturbance detected. Nidus webs are inbound on your location. guy's stuck. The keystone is approaching maximum energy output. Victory is nearly upon us. Do not lose hope, brothers. Cool down, so I have one minute until the rubber shield overcharge. Try to get these buildings to finish. Pay for 
There's so many Nidus's. My goodness. That was... Oh, a lot of units.